Hello everyone, this is Food Poison from MGS and I'm here today with you to review this new game on Steam called uh, Card Hunter. Um, I realize that it's not actually too new because I have seen some other reviews out there that's already up for this game, but I did pick it up today by the uh, referral of Takamochi. I did play the Path of Exile with him um, and you can find our gameplay video just if you go back uh, to my to my channel and yeah let's just start off with this game um, this I did play I played a little bit of it uh, already but it seems that my recording was um, corrupted or something and it just wouldn't um, let me edit it so here I am trying to do this one more time and as you can see it's very um, not not in world per se it's it's literally like a tabletop um, game Ta like tabletop simulator let's say uh, this does seem like a very Dungeons and Dragons kind of game the D&D style it definitely has that aspect um, unfortunately I can't really speak for anyone else or like for the game to be like that because I've never actually played Dungeons and Dragons but I do know that um, the game kind of goes like that because there are like roles and things. Not, not, not much choices if some of those are required, but far as I know, I think it's similar. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see, um, in, in this game, let me let me just try to explain how the thing how the game kind of goes. Uh, far for for most of my games or for all of my games so far, it has been against a computer, and we've been going through kind of this like a tiny storyline. But I did pick up these two uh, two heroes. Uh, I named the first guy Food Poison and the other one Enerfe. Um so what this shows is where you're facing. It's not exactly how much you can move or anything like that. You are able to pick up uh, uh, just have cards that allow you to move. You are um, you are granted some cards for you to move every every uh, round. Um, that's another thing is that the game the the turns aren't rounds. Um, after there can be, I believe, as many turns as you really need for the cards. But other than that, there is like it's not it's not round. Um, you will run out of cards eventually, um, and this is due to just just having it used up. And right right now, I'm just gonna. Use the oh, it's supposed to be two different targets, but I only attacked one guy. And he blocked it, so that's unfortunate. So as you can see, they moved here. Um, I attacked this guy, so he's now facing me. Um, I think he could have been facing either way. I don't know why exactly it turned. Maybe the programming, but... Uh, what I'm going to do now is... Just use my wizard to attack. And it just goes straight to the computer's turn. Um, this is not a multiplayer, so it doesn't it doesn't have to wait. And now that they're both ne next to me, I'm just gonna use the chop. Yeah. All right. And yeah, I do have to read time to time because I haven't. I this I just went through the tutorial and like the first couple. Yeah, and after after you run out of cards, um, both players are prompted to pass your turns. Like so, it's, you don't draw until you run out of cards. Also, another thing is that um, one character has like a set limit of how much they can draw. Um, that depends on equipments, and I'll explain that to you guys after I finish this round right here. I'm just gonna use this to get rid of this guy. That guy's just moving away. Alright. So 
see now now I can't move or attack him other than my guy and I don't think they allow that so I'm just gonna pass he is using cards so I can't really pass you can see the their number of cards up here too and I'm just gonna keep passing until that guy passes all right now at, now that he passed I draw cards and that makes it the next round as like the whole dragon thing comes out and for what it looks like I don't think I can go to that guy so I'm gonna try to walk with her and see if I can get him let's just use that okay there's your victory screen and you are able to collect the loot and this is actually one of the best parts that I like about any games is just getting the loot just because I love RNG and it's just so fun how these things come out you know and as I promised I'll explain how the equipments work here if you can see if you go over the loots you can see which kind of cards that they are able to use or that the equipment provides and of course the less I don't know let's uh, like less level less like rare loots give less rare cards and more level oncoming staff obviously gives something a little better and you are equipped with all these and as you can see it just kinda gives the combination of those that that's what makes your deck and this is like the whole deck and I believe the run is just my race that just gives it and this is dash and I believe the dwarves have walk instead like this one over here and I believe I got a better staff here so I'm just gonna drag this over and switch that out and this is my whole loot that I got from before and let's try it let's see if I can get a better if these are better um, this gives attack for some reason I it seems that he did need a more walk so I'm just gonna switch that out and since I got everything let's continue and one thing that I can explain more is um, there are two currencies that you can see um, the gold the obvious this is the this is obviously the in-game currency and the pizza slices which follows the DND idea quite nice um, it's kind of like the party like money uh, is what it is actually is the premium cash that it's, I believe is costly like you you pay to get all these stuff you pay more pizzas or you pay for more pizzas and joining um, I haven't gotten too much into this but this is like the club there's the membership and I believe you get more stuff like better chests, better better loots and everything like that and there's the renown I don't know if there's too much into that right now but we'll go for it I think this was a this was a two two stage uh -oh. battle so we'll see how this is huh. so block terrain you can't move through it that's pretty obvious. Yeah, I'm gonna do something bold here and just move my wizard right in the middle. <laughs> Frenzy and duration. Okay. Causes one digital booster and damage every time they attack. Stay away from the frenzy. So stay away from that guy. I should probably move my guy. What I will try to do is I will go towards this guy and try to take care of him. Alright, that guy's coming out. That's not good. Let's see, can I get him? Can I get him soon? Okay, so this is five attack. And I got him. Nice. See, I'm not too sure if that allows me to walk that little, like at once, but I sure hope to find out soon. 
See, there's the whole dice roll and like the chance thing over there. If you can't, if you don't block with your block, um, the c block card, uh, the card doesn't get used. Um, I thought that was a pretty good idea for you to just, because it does get pretty frustrating when you, when you can obviously like block with more, but you just can't. See, now he blocks, so he doesn't have the card anymore. One of the things is that you can see see their cards. I guess because these are computer uh, generated like NPCs, you can see like it's three out of three. I think they all use the same cards. Uh, let's end the round because I can't aim anywhere, else. Yeah. and it's gonna be probably the next round. There we go. Yeah. Let's see here. He has four. Um, since I'm not gonna get near any of those guys anymore, I'm just gonna use the chop. Oh, they just attacks two guys. And that guy's moving. Let's move my mage like around to the corner here so she can aim everywhere else. They passed though, okay. I can't aim, I can't aim anywhere. Shuffle. I just move towards my wizard. Oh, it seems that I actually do have too many cards, so I have to discard them. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be penetrating, so I just discard those. Discard those. All right. Let's see what to do. It seems that I can actually aim a little further with that. Let's use this. Get that guy first. Oh, it seems that he actually do have a block. Um, but you know what? I'll try it instead. Or, anyways. Okay, he blocked it. It's kind of sad, but I'll have to deal with it. Maybe he doesn't have a block anymore. Ouch. Okay. Um. Is this. It does seem like I'm gonna win. I know that this is not too hard. Not too hard of the missions yet, but I'm sure. I'm sure it's gonna get a lot harder towards the end, or towards later on in the game. I can just use these to kill him. You'll pass. Cards. Onward. Yeah, as you can see, the graphics aren't too like too fancy or anything, and it doesn't really need to be because I think it really follows the classic look of a D&D feel, and I really like that. It's it's just like a I just I love I love classic feels as long as it's classic. It doesn't have to be um, aesthetic. Is my my rule. Let's see. What is this? Oh, it's for a priest or healer. This is for selling. I had that before. And since I can just put a random arcane item there, I'll just put this there. Huh. Okay. And another thing is you can go back to the tavern to hire people. I think that was one thing. See, dwarves are tougher. I'll just go with the human. I I do like I really do like movement. Although I feel like I would I should have. Let me just random some guys. Sure. Um. Yeah. Yay. I really like movement because it just I feel like it's just so much useful to just hit and run time to time. All right, so it seems that three is the max party that you can have, party uh, party size. Woohoo! And another feature of this game is you can go sell some of the stuff, and you can also buy, obviously. And I actually haven't gone through too much of what these are, but I'm sure there is a lot better sources than how, how I can explain through this review for today. 
Um, you can, you are able to sell the treasure items, the unusual items. So I can just like drag it over and I get the money. And I'll just sell that and get out of here. What is this? Alright, I've never seen that before. There's a lot. Oh, this must be the levels, like the four. And the daily deal gives like the really rare items. These are expensive. I do not have that much gold. I do not I do I don't even have the cheapest gold or cheapest items gold. Okay. I guess I'll have to visit that later. Another thing I really like about this game is that it is possible that you grind this. Um, they the dungeons get reset daily, just like how this one says. And if you were to play it again, then it gives you like a less 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 loot, less rare loot. And these ones actually already reset because it passed the the reset timer. Although it, it hasn't been a day for me, it just passed that time, so those reset. Let's see. Ah. And the whole multiplayer option is, I think, later for me. But from what I've heard, there are multiplayer options and there are um, co-op options. I am hoping that I'm going to get to those soon. I actually do really recommend this game. It is free and it just got on Steam, so it's definitely something that I recommend. It's just something that you can try out, you know? It's, it's free. Like, why not? Alright. And I think I'm just gonna stop the video here today. I went through two dungeons for you guys to explain what they were. And, yeah, I just hope you guys really enjoyed the video. And uh, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you did. And it really helps me out. Because, yeah. <laughs> and, um, thank you. And another thing that I can actually recommend that if you guys... Or if you guys want to check out is... I started doing a lot of uh, Path of Exile, like playthrough, play playthrough videos and montage videos. So if you guys want to check those out, that'd be awesome too. All right, thank you again, and have a great day, guys.